Hello, my name is Thales and Korting, and in this video I will explain how image enhancement works. First of all, we have to say that the image enhancement produces a more suitable result than the original image for a specific application. For example, this in the left part is in the original image, which is a remote sensing image and at the right we have the histogram of the original image. Most of the pixels are between 0 and 100 and for an 8-bit image we could have values from 0 up to 255. However, considering all these possibilities of pixel values we are using only this part of the original image. So, we can apply enhancement in order to highlight specific parts of this original image. Let's show some examples. By applying different enhancements, we can, for example, highlight these parts here that, in this case, which is a remote sensing image of an urban area, will highlight the buildings here. And also, with a different kind of enhancement, we can highlight, for example, this part here, which is probably a different type of vegetation or water body or something like this, which is not easy to see in the original image, but here in the enhanced image, we can see it much better than in the original one. Or also, here we can highlight all the roads and we have the same data in which we can apply different types of enhancements to obtain different results. We will show this very simple function in which T means a gray level single pixel transformation function. R is the pixel value in the input image and we get the outputs represented by this term here. We will see different types of transformation functions in order to get the original image and enhance them according to our needs. One of the most basic is the offset. In this case here, the offset we can represent by this simple equation, which is the resultant pixel is the original pixel plus a specific value. And for this, we can show one animation that applies different types of offset values in the original image. What is the effect of applying different offsets in the original image? When we apply different offsets values in this image, we can perceive that the histogram of the output image goes from left to the right, but the shape of the histogram is exactly the same. This is why we get the same histogram shape in the beginning and at the end of the offset. The second very basic transformation that we can apply is the gain. And again is a value that we multiply by the original value. When we have a gain value under than 1, we shrink the original histogram and as long as we increase the gain for values higher than 1, we spread it more along the possible pixel values. The original image is here and what we have in the output, we use almost all the available pixel values. So we have very black pixels and also very white pixels and all the pixels in this interval. Whereas in the original image, we use it only a single part of the available pixels. The logarithm we have here is the shape of the logarithm function. And here is the equation that we apply. The original image now is shown as long as the red bar goes from left to the right. And in the histogram, in the bottom part, shows the output histogram of the image enhanced with logarithm. 
This is the original image. This is the output image. In this case, we have not a straight line as in the gain and as in the offset. What we have here is that in the beginning of the transformation, the function is similar to a very high gain. And as long as the pixel value increases, it becomes similar to a very low gain. The output histogram is not exactly the same shape as the input histogram, but with a highlight in the part with the small values and a not so big contrast in the parts closer to the highest values. This is why we spread more this start point and we shrink it the histogram in the right side, as we can see in this histogram. This L values here, in our case, is equal to 256, which is 2 in the power of 8, because these are 8 bits image. The second function is the nth root, in our case n equal to 2, the square root of the input pixel value plus the maximum value. So there is not so many transformations from the input to the output, comparing it to the logarithm. The next function is a basic function called the negative function, which can be calculated by the highest pixel level, L in our case, minus 1 minus the original value. So this is a kind of a negative transformation in which the original values becomes their opposite in this limit of L. The next function is the nth power, in which we also choose the power of 2. The transformation function is this one. We can see a difference, because now we have a small gain in the beginning and a big gain at the end. So let's see the effect that is produced by the second power in this case. When we apply a small gain in the beginning, what we have is that we shrink the pixel values in this darker part of the image and we spread a little bit more in the higher part. We have the inverse logarithm which is similar to the previous one. The equation is here, but in this case we have even more this effect of a very small gain in the darker parts of the image and a very big gain in the brightest part of the image. We can see the result here, which will produce a very dark image. However, the brightest pixels will have more contrast. Since this image contains more darker pixels, and they became concentrated in the first part of the histogram. The main reference used to create this video is the well-known digital image processing book by Gonzalez and Woods. Please visit my GitHub in which I put all the latex equations used in this video, also the algorithms, search codes to understand the animations that I produced in this video, and also the datasets you can find in my GitHub. Also, please like and share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is how image enhancement works.